in 2008. You and Ivanovic, do you remember that moment? <laughs> so, Seriously? <laughs> if I do remember it, it cost me like two, two years of my career. <laughs> we just saw Daniela Handikova inquire of the umpire there, that noise. We have had an incredible pre-season. I passed through the first week here really in a very confident way. Daniela Handikova, this is her ninth Australian Open and she's come back here. She's fitter, she's stronger, she's quicker. I felt like probably that was the time where, where I played my best tennis. Double break, Handikova, three love in the first set. Because it was my first semis, I didn't really know what to expect. I was super tired and nervous before going into it. I remember I almost didn't sleep that night because obviously it was a huge opportunity. I felt very good about my game. And uh, given the fact how tired as I was, suddenly I was six love up in a couple of minutes and I felt like I couldn't miss a ball. Six games to love in 25 minutes. The entire first set was a tour de force for Daniela Handikova. Well, it was almost one of those matches where the first set was so easy. And sometimes that's tricky because you start to suddenly expect so much of yourself. I was a break up in the second as well. It's out. Out. Challenge the yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. Had to go over. Good. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. So she's got the break seven games in a row. You know, it's normal that you might be actually broken in a semi-final of a slam. And I just, uh, I just thought that that was it. Game. The first break of serve for Anna Ivanovic, hands on hips, hand of cover. Like going from playing my best tennis to suddenly I feel like, okay, now <laughs> even though I was still set and, uh, set and two one up, I felt like um, it was the end of the world. So it went from one extreme to another. We just saw Daniela Handikova inquire of the umpire there, that noise. What happens is when the server tosses the ball up, Anna Ivanovic moves in, and it's the noise that her shoes makes on the court. Yeah, I think she was doing a little noises with her shoes before I was serving. Uh, some players do that, and what was one of those matches. But I think at, at that point of the match, it was more me just getting irritated with everything. <laughs> it's a critical time for Handikova, 30-40. Goodness me! How did Ivanovic manage to get that ball back over the net? Handikova can't believe it. And it's a break of serve and five games to four to Ivanovic. Yeah, you just have to kind of try to forget about it, but obviously it's hard when you know that's probably one of the very few opportunities you're going to have. Two hours, ten minutes, Ivanovic, a squeal of delight, can't believe that she's through to the final of the Australian Open. Handikova, long gone. It was one of those matches that I, I, I felt like I had in my hands and it was a huge opportunity for me. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get through, but it, it was still an amazing tournament, making it first time to the semis. And yeah, I, I did think about that match for a long time.